Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a while, but the dialogue system is finally ready. So let's take a look at how the cutscene that you've just seen works. A cutscene consists of multiple timelines tied together by an animator controller. Here you can see how the state machine for this specific cutscene looks like. Usually we use animator to control animations, but it's not the case here. The sole purpose of the state machine is to evaluate how the cutscene should look like based on the player's choices. It's done using these state machine behaviors called cutscene segments. They notify the cutscene component about what timeline should be played next. This example is extremely simple. We start with this awakening state, at the end of which the player is presented with a choice. They can either take the architect's offer, or they can question his intentions. This is what these transitions represent. If the choice is equal to zero, we go to the agreement state. If it's one, we end up in the trust state. Now, if we go back to our scene, you can see that alongside the animator, there's also this cutscene component that I mentioned. Here, we define which director corresponds to a given state. For example, this is the director that's going to be played during the awakening state. There's no additional scripting going on here. It's just a director with a timeline assigned to it. When it comes to timelines themselves, aside from the default tracks provided by Unity, I've also got some custom ones. This one, for example, controls what Alice is saying. Each clip here defines her lines and some additional settings, like the direction in which her speech bubble is facing or is offset. Length of a clip determines how fast its text will appear on the screen, which is a very nice thing to play around with. If a character is saying something that they are not sure about or something that's really dramatic, for example, we can make the text appear slower to emphasize that. We also have this choice track, which is responsible for presenting our player with some choice. Clips on this track contain an array of options that the player can choose from. The index of the chosen option is then passed to the animator controller so that it can decide what to do next. Another thing worth noting is the skip marker. It makes it possible to skip certain parts of the cutscene. There's no UI for it yet, but I'll demonstrate it with my debugger. Currently the cutscene is playing as usual, but when I click skip, the timeline will fast forward until it encounters a marker. Alright, so I have the gameplay figured out. I know how I want the environments to look like. Now the cutscene framework is also ready. So now I'm gonna start working on the game menu, and then it will be time to finally piece the game together. Anyway, that's all for now, so thank you all for watching. See you in the next video and take care.